Hey everyone, this is Anam Chahar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be explaining the poem, The Lebanum Top, along with all the poetic devices. It's from the book Hornbill of Class 11 and is written by Ted Hughes. T Edward Hughes, commonly uh, known as Ted Hughes, was an English poet and children's writer. He was also appointed as the Poet Laureate. Poet Laureate is appointed by the government of England and it's a very prestigious position. So he was appointed as Poet Laureate in 1984 and held the office until his death. Let's begin. This poem, The Lebanon Top, portrays the various phenomena of nature, particularly in autumn season. The Lebanon tree is a symbol of silence that prevails during the autumn season. So in autumn season, trees and plants, they are not happy, right? So Lebanon tree is the symbol of silence, peace and serenity that prevails during the autumn season. But this silence is broken. This silence is disturbed with the arrival of the bird, with the arrival of the goldfinch who comes and builds her nest there. So the lifeless tree, the silent tree comes back to life with the arrival of this bird. But when the bird leaves the tree, it is silent once again. Once again, it is lifeless. This is the introduction. So let's begin now. As you can see in the picture, this is how a Lebanon tree looks like. It's a short tree with hanging branches, yellow flowers and poisonous trees. The Lebanon top is silent, quite still, in the afternoon yellow September sunlight. So September signifies autumn season. Yellow September sunlight. Sunlight is yellowish in color and so is the Lebanon tree. Due to its yellow flowers, it, its color is yellow. The Lebanon top is silent, quite still, in the afternoon yellow September sunlight. So in September, in autumn season, the Lebanon top is silent. The tree is silent, it's lifeless and it is still. Nothing is, uh, not a single leaf is, move, uh, leaf is moving and there is no sound, no movement, no motion. The tree is silent and lifeless. A few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. Its, its leaves are turning yellow in color and its its seeds are falling down. Till the goldfinch comes, the tree, the Lebanon tree is silent and lifeless till the bird comes, till the goldfinch comes. Goldfinch is a beautiful bird. It's also yellow in color. Till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end. Twitching means a sudden movement. Startlement again, it means suddenness. So the tree is silent and lifeless till the goldfinch comes with a sudden movement, a sudden jerk, and she starts chirping. She sits at a branch and she starts chirping. Then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt, she enters the thickness. She's as quick as a lizard, she's alert, and then she enters the thickness of the tree. She enters and she makes her nest on the tree. And a machine starts up of chitterlings, a tremor of wings and trillings. So as goldfinch comes, a machine starts up, means a lot of noise is uh, created by her babies, small uh, babies, small birds. They start uh, to chirp, they start to chitter, they start flapping their wings. So a machine starts up means a kind of machine starts up and the tree, the lifeless tree comes back to life. The whole tree trembles and thrills. The tree starts moving. It is filled with excitement. It comes back to life. It is the engine of her family. Who? The goldfinch. The goldfinch is the engine of her family. She stokes it full. So just like an engine drives a car, similarly, 
the goldfinch looks after her family she is just like an engine for her family because she feeds her babies she gets the food and she feeds her babies she stokes it full then flirts out to a branch end after feeding her babies she goes out and she sits on a branch showing her bad face identity mask like i said goldfinch is yellow in color so is the lebanum tree so her body is hardly visible it is covered with the lebanum uh, tree leaves so it's not visible but her face is clearly visible that is her identifi identification uh, this bird goldfinch has uh, some you know marks on her face it has some stripes beautiful stripes on her face which helps uh, which help in its identification so showing her face showing her bad face she sits on a branch then with eerie delicate whistle chirp whisperings eerie means strange so again she makes some noise she whispers she launches away towards the infinite again she flies away towards the sky and the lebanum subsides to empty again the lebanum tree is lifeless it is silent again it came back to life when the bird came when the goldfinch came to feed her babies her babies uh, started chirping they started flying here and there they started making noises but when she goes away the tree the lebanum tree is lifeless again again it is silent and motionless so that's about it uh, now let's discuss the poetic devices in stanza 1 so as you can see the stanza is there on the right hand side of your screen the lebanum top is silent quite still silent still alliteration is used here alliteration means repetition of consonant sound in close connection silent still sir sound is consonant sound so it is alliteration september sunlight yellow september sunlight september sunlight again sir sound is repeated so it is another example of alliteration in the same stanza enjambment has been used what is enjambment when no punctuation mark is used after the end of a line and the same idea continues to the next line in a poem it is called enjambment so as you can see there is no punctuation mark no full stop no comma after first line so it is enjambment then symbolism has been used as i told you in the beginning of the poem the lebanum tree the lebanum top is silent quite still so it's a symbol of silence it's a symbol of peace that prevails during the autumn season second example of symbolism is yellow september sunlight yellow september so here yellow september is a symbol of autumn season it's a season of old age which brings loneliness second stanza again alliteration has been used see the bold underlined words suddenness a startlement suddenness startlement sir sound is repeated next example tremor of wings and trillings tremor trillings ter sound is repeated and in the last line the whole tree trembles and thrills see the third uh, underlined uh, the, this this third example is not alliteration i've marked it particularly to tell you the difference suddenness startlement sir sound is repeated so it is alliteration tremor trillings ter sound is repeated so it is also alliteration but trembles and thrills it is not alliteration so sometimes children get confused when they see consonant alphabets they tend to trace it out as alliteration but it is not so so when you talk about alliteration you have to see the consonant sound not the consonant alphabets trembles thrills although both the words start with the same alphabet t but the sound is different trembles ter sound is there and in thrills ther sound is there so since uh, the sounds are different so it will not be an example of alliteration next is enjambment as you can see after first and fourth line there is no punctuation mark so we can say that enjambment has been used here 
Next is simile. Simile is comparison. Comparison by using the words as or like. Sleek as a lizard. So here the movements of a goldfinch are compared with those of lizard by using the word as. So it is an example of simile. Next is metaphor. Metaphor uh, metaphor is also comparison but without using uh, the words as or like. A machine starts up. So here a machine is compared with the tree. When the goldfinch comes, the tree comes back to life. It starts just like a machine starts. It comes back to life. So it is metaphor. Next is personification. The whole tree trembles and thrills. See the last line. The whole tree trembles and thrills. So the tree, with the arrival of the bird, the tree comes back to life. It is filled with excitement and it starts shaking. It starts moving. So here the tree has been presented as a person, right? As if it's a person. So here we can say that personification has been used. Next is symbolism. Till the goldfinch comes. So here goldfinch is a symbol. It's a symbol of life. It's like I said, the Lebanon tree was the symbol of silence during autumn season. Goldfinch is the symbol of life and the arrival of spring season when the plants, trees, they again become happy and they again come back to life. So goldfinch is basically a symbol of life and arrival of spring season. Last stanza, again alliteration has been used, whistle, chirrup, whisperings, whistle, whisperings, ver sound is repeated which is a consonant sound so it is alliteration. Next is enjambment, as you can see after second, third, fourth and fifth line there is no punctuation mark so this is enjambment. Next is metaphor, it is the engine of a family, here the goldfinch, the bird has been compared with with the engine. Like I said, as an engine drives a car, similarly, the goldfinch, the bird is the driving force behind her family. She is the one who is keeping her family alive. So uh, she is compared with the engine. That's all about it. I hope you must have understood the chapter. If you like the video, if you found it useful, then please subscribe to my channel and you can also leave comments. Thank you.